Hey everyone, welcome back to another Live Trains Rail Recap. Let's jump into the video. We'll start off in St. Louis, Missouri, where we caught a BNSF untreated tie train. Most likely these ties are coming from Springfield, Missouri, where there is a large tie plant. Have you ever wondered how long ties last? Well, there are a lot of factors such as usage and environmental conditions, but treated ties can generally last up to 20 to 30 years. Here are some quick facts on what it takes to create a tie. First, the best logs are selected and sent to the sawmill. Once cut, they'll undergo a meticulous seasoning period of seven to 12 months, followed by end trimming, grading, and treatment in large creosote cylinders. Additionally, some ties receive a dual treatment with borates to prevent decay and termite infestation, further enhancing their strength and longevity. Here's a fun question for you. Tell us in the comments how many feet of track a single tie carrying rail car can hold. In Blue Island, we see CSX number 6572 which was built for C and O in January of 1980 as a EMD GP40-2. Since then it's been upgraded to a dash 3. Over in Houston, at our Samson Street camera, we caught an unusual sight. BNSF 1838 leading Long Hood forward with Union Pacific 8853 trailing. 1838 is an EMD SD 40-2, which began its life with Burlington Northern in December of 1974. Check out this awesome lash up we caught in Blue Island. The blue and red engine is a former Grand Trunk Western EMD GP 38 2, built in July of 1975 for GTW. It probably won't be too long before it gets a fresh CN paint job. If you enjoy our content, and wish to support our channel, hit that join button below. Now back to the video. We caught CPKC 7021 in St. Louis. For those who don't know, in 2019, Canadian Pacific unveiled five specially painted EMD SD 70 ACU locomotives to honor the armed forces culture and history. These locomotives feature paint colors and patterns inspired by military vehicles intended to remind viewers of the sacrifices made to protect freedom. CP 7021 in particular wears the sand color used by the Canadian and U.S. armies on equipment in arid climates.
In Blue Island, we caught one of Indiana Harbor Belt's former SW-1500 locomotives. Although originally an SW-1500, 1504 was rebuilt by Rail Power Technologies into an RP-15 BDF natural gas-powered locomotive in the early 2000s. Got to love it when you get to see old school EMD power in the lead. Here we see a former Santa Fe SD45-2 built in June of 1973. This unit has since been rebuilt multiple times and is now considered an EMD SD40-2R. And that wraps up today's recap. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your fellow rail enthusiasts. Thanks for joining us on Live Trains. Until next time, cheers.